and its mathematical formulation. A furniture dealer deals in only two items, tables and chairs. He has rupees fifty thousand to invest and has a storage space of at most sixty pieces. A table cost him rupees twenty five hundred, and a chair cost him rupees five hundred. He estimates that from the sale of one table he can make a profit of rupees two fifty, and that from the sale of one chair a profit of rupees seventy five. We begin discussion with this example of furniture dealer, which will further lead to the mathematical formulation of problems in two variables. For this example, we observe the following points. The dealer can invest his money in buying tables and chairs or combination of them. Further, he would earn different profits by following different investment strategies. There are certain overriding conditions or constraints. His investment is limited to a maximum of rupees fifty thousand, and so is his storage space, which is for a maximum of sixty pieces. Suppose he decides to buy tables only and no chairs, so he can buy fifty thousand divided by twenty five hundred, that is twenty tables. Now his profit in this case will be two fifty into twenty, that is five thousand. Now suppose he decides to buy chair only. and no tables so he can buy 100 chairs but he can store only 60 pieces therefore he is forced to buy 60 chairs so his profit in this case will be 60 into 75 that is 4500 there are many other possibilities for instance he may choose to buy 10 tables and 50 chairs as he can store only 60 pieces the total profit in this case would be 10 into 250 plus 50 into 75 that is Six thousand two hundred fifty rupees. mathematical formulation of the problem let x be the number of tables and y be the number of chairs that the dealer buys obviously x and y must be non negative so we have two constraints that is x should be greater than or equal to 0 and y should be greater than or equal to 0 these are called non negative constraints the dealer is constrained by the maximum amount he can invest here it is rupees 50000 and by the maximum number of items he can store here it is 60 the above statement when stated mathematically forms 2500 into x plus 500 into y is less than or equal to 50000 this is called investment constraint which is reduced to 5x plus y less than equals to 100 similarly we have storage constraint that is x plus y is less than equals to 60 now The dealer wants to invest in such a way as to maximize his profit. Let us say Z, which is stated as a function of x and y, given as Z equals to 250 into x plus 75 into y. This is called objective function. Mathematically, the given problem now reduces to maximize Z equals to 250 into x plus 75 y. Now we have subject to constraints: 5x plus y less than equals 200. X plus y less than equals to sixty, and x greater than zero, y greater than zero. So we have to maximize the linear function z, subject to certain conditions determined by the set of linear inequalities with variable as non-negative. There are also some other problems where we have to minimize a linear function subject to certain conditions, 
determined by a set of linear inequalities with variables as non-negative. Such problems are called linear programming problems. A linear programming problem is one that is concerned with finding the optimal value that is maximum or minimum value of a linear function of several variables say x and y. Subject to the conditions that the variables are non-negative and satisfy a set of linear inequalities that is called linear constraints. In the above example, we have z equals to 250 into x plus 75 into y is a linear objective function variable x and y are called decision variables. Constraints The linear inequalities or equations or restrictions on the variable of the linear programming problem are called constraints. The conditions x greater than equals to 0, y greater than equals to 0 are called non-negative restrictions. Optimization problem A problem which seeks to maximize or minimize a linear function say of two variables x and y subject to certain constraints as determined by the set of linear inequalities is called a optimization problem. Let us refer to the problem of investment in table and chairs discussed in the previous link. Linear programming problem and its mathematical formulation. Let us graph the constraints stated as linear inequalities. Let us take the first inequality. 5x plus y less than equals to 100. Now replace the value of x by 20 in 5x plus y equals to 100. We get y equals to 0. This is the point on the x axis. Now replace the value of x by 10 in 5x plus y equals to 100. The point will be 10 comma 50. Now we have two points. We can draw a line. Now let us take the second inequality. x plus y less than equals to 60. On replacing the value of x by 10 and 0, the following point will be 10 comma 50 and 0 comma 60 in x plus y equals to 60. We find another line of the equation x plus y equals to 60. The graph of the system consists of points common to all half planes determined by the inequality 5x plus y less than equals to 100 and x plus y less than equals to 60. The shaded region therefore is called the feasible region of the problem. Every point of this region is called feasible solution of the problem. The point 10,50 is a feasible solution of the problem and so are the points 0,60 and 20,0. Any point outside the feasible region in feasible solution. For example, the point 25,40 is an infeasible solution of the problem as it lies outside the shaded region. Optimal solution Any point in the feasible region that gives optimal value that is maximum or minimum of the objective function is called an optimal solution. Text. For drawing graph, we considered the inequalities as equations and then draw the corresponding graphs and take the intersection of all the equations. The intersected region is our region of interest and known as feasible region. Please note that for the shaded region, we have considered only the first quadrant as x is greater than equals to 0 and y is greater than equals to 0. Example Solve the following linear programming problem graphically. Maximize z equals to 4x plus y under the constraints x plus y less than equals to 50 3x plus y less than equals to 90 x greater than equals to 0 and y greater than equals to 0. Solution Considering the inequation 3x plus y less than equals to 90 on replacing the value of y by 0 and 30 in the equation 30x plus y equals to 90 the points will be 30, 0 and 20, 30. Thus we draw the straight line 
3x plus y equals to 90, cutting the y-axis at 0, 90. Now, considering the inequation x plus y less than equals to 50, on replacing the value of y by 0 and 50 in the equation x plus y equal to 50, the following points will be 0, 50 and 50, 0. Now, we shade the region OABC. The shaded region in the figure is the feasible region determined by the system of constraints 2 to 4. We observe that the feasible region OABC is bounded. So, we now use corner point method to determine the maximum value of Z. A corner point of a feasible region is a point in the region which is at the intersection of two boundary lines. The coordinate of the corner points O, A, B and C are 0, 0, 30, 0, 20, 0 and 0, 50 respectively. Now, we evaluate Z at each corner point. Now we have the table of corresponding value of Z at each corner point. We see that the maximum value of Z that is 120 is at the point 30, 0. Example Solve the following linear programming problem graphically. Minimize Z equals to 200 into X plus 500 into Y. Under the constraints X plus 2Y greater than equals to 10 3x plus 4y less than equals to 24 and x greater than 0 and y greater than 0. Let us take the first inequation x plus 2y greater than equals to 10. On replacing the value of x by 0, 4 and 10 in x plus 2y equals to 10, the following points will be 0, 5, 4, 3 and 10, 0. Now, Considering the second inequation, 3x plus 4y less than equals to 24, we replace the value of x by 0 and 8 in the equation 3x plus 4y equals to 24. The points will be 0, 6 and 8, 0. We draw another line. Now, we shade the region A, B, C. The shaded region in the figure is the feasible region. ABC is determined by the constraint equation from 2 to 4, which is bounded. We now use corner point method to determine the maximum value of Z. The corner point of a feasible region is a point in the region which is at the intersection of two boundary lines. The coordinate of the corner points A, B and C are 0, 5, 4, 3 and 0, 6 respectively. Now, we evaluate Z at each corner point. We have the following table having corresponding value of Z at each corner point. We see that at the corner point 4,3 the value of Z is 2300 which is minimum. Thus, the minimum value of Z is 2300.